What's up guys, it's Nova here. Today's video is something that um, isn't gaming related, but I kind of wanted to, to make this video for, for a few months now, and I think it's final time. And even though today's topic is a happy one, and this is a happy video, um, I'm feeling really, really nervous about this thing or you know talking about this but it's finally time um this add some drama here taking glasses off yeah um i think this is something that some some real youtubers with big audiences do or might do sometimes but this is kind of a announcement you know in a way um, our family will be growing soon, uh, in a little bit over three months. Jeez, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> and, and it's not an animal baby, it's a real human baby. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll be mom in a little bit over three months and I'm so, so excited about it. Yeah, of course, obviously that's going to effects on so many things around here but on the other hand i don't know how much you know um i'm not going to stop making videos or or i'm not going to stop streaming or anything like that i'm just trying to kind of see how how life builds up at that time you know and of course when you have a kid the baby will be growing and some things m might might be easier at some point and other things might be easier to arrange at home at some other point you know so <sighs> the thing is um, I'm not going to stress about that at all uh, I'll just continue doing whatever we are doing here right now making videos whenever I can and being a mom at the same time sounds so crazy to say out loud <sighs> seriously but that's just that's 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 how it is and that's how it will be so i think um, now that you know the cat's on the table um we could talk about just a little bit about um how things have been going on um as you might have guessed about my previous vlog, yeah, I have been pretty sick and that was because of the pregnancy. But I wasn't just, you know, ready to um, talk about it at that point. So yeah, that's that's something I can I can pretty much just, you know, say out loud right now. Um, the first 17 weeks were pretty rough. I had, I had the worst, or maybe not the worst, but a really bad kind of um, pregnancy sickness, and I was mostly just eating, you know, ice cream, crisps, um, juices, and you know that was just. You could say not not a life worth of living but you know i knew that that was going to pass at some point so i was just pushing myself through it but yeah that was a lot of vomiting day and night not just mornings when they say morning sickness i think that's mostly a lie that can be around the clock sickness at times and that's 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 really awful but you can get through it. <laughs> I think I was lucky to go through that, you know, just for 17 weeks because I've heard some stories of, you know, 20, um, 30 weeks of pregnancy sickness. You know, the kind that I had, but worse. So, yeah, you know, um, compared to that, I think, I think mine wasn't that bad but at the time it felt really awful 
so yeah after after the sickness episode I've been just mostly tired really tired I lost some weight and it took it took some weeks more to kind of start building that normal pregnancy weight up again with that with that weight um, or that weight gaining I think I started to feel a little bit better which is of course nice but then the tiredness that just that really hits me even though everything seems to be fine which is nice um, with the baby I think I'm just here suffering a lot of these kind of symptoms here but it's okay it's going to be over in that three months and hopefully hopefully I'll pull this through just fine the other thing that has been really bugging me recently with my <laughs> condition um, is the hip pain you know the bones are starting to lose and it kind of feels like my legs are kind of how to explain this imagine you have a roasted chicken where you can just pull the leg off that's that's kind of how it feels or you know that's that's how I'm feeling right now like my legs are being just pulled off I think I can tolerate the pain pretty well um, the nights are possibly the worst because that's when the whole day of uh, running around kind of, that, that's where it builds up and 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 the pain is more intense but when I just get enough rest I'd be okay with it so yeah I think I have been managing pretty well without pain meds and that's of course good because babies cannot tolerate <laughs> pain meds or you know those medications that adults can um, adults that are not pregnant <laughs> can tolerate you know babies cannot handle those so of course this is part of that you know trying to avoid everything I do not specifically need in my body I just live out so there's that of course and yeah um, I do not know how much you want to know about this stuff or you know um, I just don't want to offer too much information you know so if you have any questions or anything just tweet me put a comment down below in there that's more easier I think uh, it's easier for me to answer there or you know <laughs> if you want to know something um, go ahead and ask so there's actually uh, one another thing I want to talk about, about in this video and that's the healthcare system and uh, social care that they have here in Finland for pregnant moms and their children um, let's start with the healthcare we have the system that's specifically um, aimed towards moms and babies and small children I'm not sure how you know what's the maximum age of going there but it's called Neuvola um, if I find any kind of <laughs> uh, name in English I think I'll put it here somewhere but um, in Neuvola we get free health care for moms and babies I think it's kind of unique I believe they are trying this same kind of system you know in a small scale in Japan right now and I do believe that they are calling it Neuvola also in Japan but the system itself it's it's pretty cool because as I said it's free um, and you go there during during your pregnancy for for checkups and you can ask almost you know anything you have in, in your mind uh, it could be something about your health about the child care you know and any kinds of questions and they answer from there they are 
many professionals working there just for your needs. And if it's something specific that, you know, nurses or their um, doctors cannot cover, you know, maybe some physiotherapy or something like that, um, they'll just, you know, guide you forward so you get all the help you may need. And because of the regular checkups and tests, they are trying to find all kinds of um, complications and, you know, things that might be wrong with you or your baby. And if something shows up on those tests or checkups, you'll get the immediate help. So I think the system, that way it works really well. It's not just about your physical health, but it also kind of, you know, it's kind of about the mental health too. You do not need to worry about things by yourself. So if there's something wrong or you're feeling a little bit off, there's something that you might be really, really worried about. Um, they will help you. So it's, it's a really good system. One thing is that they don't seem to kind of offer that much help for fathers, but that's also something, you know, I think if if dads need some kind of help, I don't see why, why it would hurt to ask from there how to work with it. But, you know, it, it's, it's also very strongly about the physical health of mom and the baby, so that also explains why it works like that. So the more um, social care kind of side of uh, how they take care of moms and babies here in Finland is the maternity package. And that's also something I don't believe many, many countries do have. Not at least right now. I don't know. But it's a really, really convenient thing. And I'll show you mine. But uh, first I, I really want to tell you what it is and how it works. So yeah, the government of Finland gives you the maternity package after, I think it was 2021, 20, 22 pregnancy weeks. So when your pregnancy is a little bit over halfway through, um, you can apply and get either one. Um, I think it was 170 euros of money or the maternity package that includes baby clothes, um, lots of things you're going to need. I think I'll just read the short description that's in Kela's website. The maternity package contains baby clothes as well as care products and materials. It is updated yearly in response to feedback from from clients. While the range of items remains largely uh, the same, the colors and patterns change and some completely new items are added as well. There are altogether 50 different items in the box. So it's a large cardboard box full of goods for you and your baby, mostly for the baby of course. And yeah, here's the um, important thing. The maternity package is not commercially available. It's available solely as a benefit offered under the Finnish social security system. As I, as I just said, the items it contains are sourced through a competitive bidding process complying with EU law. I hope that makes sense. My pronunciation is not that good. <laughs> I got the 2018 version because the 2019 version is not out yet because there's still the last year's uh, version of the box left. They need to get rid of the earlier version first. Another fun thing about this maternity package is that if you are having twins or triplets or more kids um, or when you are adopting a kid, you can get the same 
exactly the same uh, maternity package in more numbers or you know in the case of adoption you don't need to give birth to the child to get the package you can also get it to adoption so that's that's really helpful i think and why did i choose the package and not the 170 euros of gold cash is mostly because the worth of the box is usually a little little bit more than the cash that you can choose and also it has some items that are more you know reasonable to get like that in, in one package because you don't need to go and buy everything separately and it's going to be a lot easier especially if it's your first baby um, and you really do not necessarily know all the things you are going to need so it could be really really helpful at least i know it's really helpful for me um, to know what to get or you know at least i do know the things that i do not need to get at this point so i think it's a great kind of a start package to go with you know the new life and i also think it was really really exciting to apply for the package and then go and get it from the mail um, it was a little adventure um, even though i knew what was in there beforehand because it's on their website um, i was really excited <laughs> long story short it's basically a large baby loot box doesn't make any sense so i think that at this point i'll just pick up my phone and film some of the contents of the package for you guys so you can see what's in there so this is the maturity package um, as you can see I decided to use my webcam I hope it doesn't bother you oh this was there and yeah um, as you can see it's going a little bit crazy with the lighting but I hope you can see well enough so let's begin so the first thing here is this snow suit um, as you can see it's quite large but I think it also can fit smaller babies because there is this zippers that you can close and then it turns into a bag so I think this will fit our kid quite well in the winter oh I already messed this zipper up ah there we go so yeah um, there's this and some I don't know what these are called in English maybe um, mitten holders I have no idea also many of these names of these items in here in English I do not know them so just bear with me here's a one pair of snow boots and these are pretty small and they are not meant to be like actual shoes because there's no any kind of you know it's just piece of soft fabric so I think these are meant to use when the baby is in the carriage you know and then there's this one pair of warm mittens with a long sleeve um, and there's no thumbs because where do you need those you know a baby doesn't need their thumbs sticking out from here so yeah these are pretty cool they're warm and because they are already in here i do not need to get more of those when it's winter time oh and by the way things are not in actual order in here you know how they came because I've gone through this box for a couple of times and everything's, you know, <laughs> everything is in there, but not in the same order as they arrived. So, you know, um, there's one fun thing that's a book, one, uh, one piece of a book with some really cool pictures in it. And um, there are animals and rhymes 
in both um, yeah in Finnish and in Swedish and why the Swedish that's because that's our second language around here it's not exactly my second language but you know that's that's how it works because of history but yeah um, I think this one is really cute the name Omama Mansikka if you go straight in with a really really rough translation um, <laughs> your country is a strawberry because strawberries are good <laughs> I don't know why um, but yeah I think there's a phrase in English very similar you know about your own country being the most dear one but yeah this is a great great thing then you get a you know a bunch of pamphlets here um, here's a listing of everything you get in yeah in Finnish uh, Swedish uh, in Sami and in English because you know all of these languages are pretty used in Finland so yeah there's those and here's a big sleeping bag or blanket actually because it opens like this and oh, there you go oh oops it's a blanket and it's really soft and warm but also quite light so I really like this one this is a really useful thing because of those zippers the next thing um, is another blanket actually this is more suitable for everyday use it's a little more light and softer I think it seems it's made of 50% cotton 50% polyester and the filling is 100% polyester so it's it's quite light and it's safe to use of course I think it's quite cool this should be warm enough in winter also and then the actual actual in size in there um, this one was a really nice thing to have these are not here usually I think felt shoes and why it says 180 here and that's because last year both um, the independency of Finland uh, turned 100 years as it kind of says in here if you go like that and the maternity package system turned 80 and they are both in there which is nice and of course the colors of our flag so yeah these are cute a first sleepy toy this wonky elephant dude it's kind of cute it's soft and it's meant for babies there's nothing that you could kind of chew or pull off so it's it's pretty good then uh, the other clothes there's a lot of them so I think I'll just go through really quickly uh, what kind of clothes there are pants many pants in different sizes different colors um, some with some cool penguins for example some nice patterns and it's good to have several sizes so you you know if you know nothing about baby clothes um, this could really help <laughs> so you know what kind of sizes do you need to get um, there's not enough to cover you know all, 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 all of your baby's needs I think but it's just enough to get started and then there's these I don't know what these are called romper I think something something like that I really like the fact that there's a bunch of different kinds of colors in here because I know some people might be a little bit sensitive about the colors you know of the clothes because of their babies 
gender. So, you know, um, some want to make the boys wear blue and girls wear pink. And to be honest, I do not really care because it's just clothes. Anything goes. Having having many kinds of colors in here, it's just, it's just cool. Because I really like to have, you know, these bright colors in the babies. <laughs> baby's wardrobe. Oh, right. Um, these are, of course, just simple body suits. These are really easy to wear and take off. And some of them have some more flexibility because there's more buttons in the lower end. <laughs> so it fits when it's when, when, when your kid is smaller, but also when he or she grows, you can just use those other buttons. So it's quite convenient. You could save some money with these kind of things. And then some wool clothes, because we are in Finland. Usually the fall, fall time and winters are, you can get quite cold and sometimes long. So wool is a really good good kind of fabric to have. And these are a very soft kind of wool, so this should not be itchy for the baby. And I really like that because who wants to have a itchy baby? A baby who is complaining about skin problems that you have caused no one. So pieces of cloth like this one that are flexible, you know, they're stretchy, they're convenient, they are warm, they are soft. These are just the best. Oh, there was even more bodysuits. I'm not sure how many there was in here. Maybe like... Um, Maybe like 10 or 12 different sizes of these. Um, so it's, it's plenty. It's not enough to cover everything, like I said, but it's plenty. What else? Um, socks, tiny socks. How many pairs? At least two pairs in here. Yeah, I think it, it was two. And then some mittens. These are more thin. So these are actually, I think these are meant for nighttime. They're actually quite similar to the socks here, as you can see. And yeah, these are convenient. I don't need to get one of these either. And I actually got a bunch of baby socks, just like this, from my cousin. Also some other clothes, but um, I, think, I, I think I do not need to get any more socks when our kid is a baby, so that's that's plenty and that's enough, I think. Yeah, that was a really nice gift, I think. And then there's this one pair of pantyhose, which is nice to wear when it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit cold, but not like so cold that you really need to wrap everything you can find around your baby to keep them warm, so. <laughs> These are good. Um, then some boots and one little simple cotton, cotton? I think it's cotton, hat. Uh, then, I don't know what these are in English. Beeps or something like that. A couple of these, one, one for feeding. Um, there's also this nice little pocket <laughs> and um, one for just kind of when your kid is drooling around and you want to keep the clothes nice and clean. And yeah, this print is pretty awesome with all these animals. And then there's this denim overall. It's not really denim, of course, but it's it's kind of, you know, it's a print. It looks like denim. I think these are good. These are really lovely. And then there's a second overall, 
this one has some more kind of like topping in it it's more soft it's more warm it's also a little bit more you know this one is bigger but that's because there's so much more fabric in there oh look at that print that's so so cute and then um there's this sleeping back kind of night gown or <laughs> whatever this is actually called night bodysuit uh, i'm not sure but this looks nice the colors are a little bit odd i think oh but i think it's it's going to work just fine doesn't matter so other things in here <laughs> this is for moms obviously um there's some mom health care things in here these are meant for your bra um then there's this huge bag of several things i'll show you i'll show you what's in here the first thing is a food feeder <laughs> I really do not know if this is actually like necessary at all. So so it's kind of a teether, but you can put some food in it for the kid to taste and kind of get used to new flavors and learn to eat and things like that. So yeah, as I said, I do not know if this is actually necessary, but you know, it's good to have in here. Um, then there's this classic hairbrush that is so soft and nice because you know baby's head and hair it's very sensitive so oh look at that that's so soft when teeth come out this will be handy a thermometer for the bath water Still not sure if this is actually necessary because you can try it, you know, with your own hands. But it's nice to have in here a digital thermometer. It's nice to have one for just for the baby because yeah, of course we do have one, but you know this one is just just for the baby, so it you know stays clean and so on. All right, this is for the spoon. Because there's this spoon that looks like a duck. <laughs> I think it's pretty cute. And there's a... Wow. Okay. I hope this can explain this thing better than I would do. Whatever. Breast words cream. <laughs> that's, that's badly pronounced. But that's for your tits. As I said, <laughs> they take care of the mom too. And a pair of little scissors because I think most of the babies born with some really sharp claws and you do want to cut those because otherwise it will hurt <laughs> so it's nice to have these in here and the last thing I think this one will be the most weird for some years but it's a five Five pieces of condoms and click natural glide so it's aqua gel <laughs> for well you know what so these kind of things are in here I think mostly just remind you to take care of yourself as a mom you know <laughs> take care of you because you wouldn't really like to get pregnant too soon after having your first kid I think so yeah that's 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 something that is worth considering I believe but I think everything in here is pretty useful you know it's it's fun to have all these things like this hairbrush you I think you could not find this one from stores I believe I'm not sure but this is something that has been in this um maternity package for at least at least 25 years i think so it's a really good brush 
I think my mom still has my old one at home. <laughs> so yeah, that was all the goods that are not clothes or fabric of any sort. Um, <laughs> then there's this a very a very soft baby blanket. It's mm, so nice. So this a lighter one for for you know where, where you do not need the actual blanket that is more warm. So this is light enough to take with you somewhere where it might be needed or just keep it at home for nap times. I really really like this one. And then there's this bunch of I don't know what, what this is called in English but these pieces of cloth for taking care of the baby. <laughs> I put the word here somewhere if I can find it. But yeah you get five of these very very basic pieces of cloth. All of them are completely white. Uh, a bed sheet? I think I think it's a bed sheet. Oh no this one is for the blanket and then this one is for the actual bed. And then there's this one piece of this kind of fluid locking sheet. I don't know what, what would you call this in English. And yeah, there's this plastic on the other side and the other side uh, is rough, but not too rough. A little bit rough, but more soft fabric. So it should block all the, you know, nightly mess pretty well if if something like that occurs. Here we go. Here's the towel. A great soft and nice baby towel. It's actually surprisingly large I think but that just means it's going to be more useful for longer. So there's one of these also. And then the most um, let's say exciting thing in here is that there's a mattress and that's because as you can see this box is actually just big enough for a small baby to sleep in. So in fact many of us Finns have slept in these maternity packages cardboard boxes <laughs> and yeah it's pretty useful because it's, it's um, great to be your first bed it's clean enough, it's uh, cheap <laughs> or actually free. You don't need to get a large bed for your baby if you do not want to get one. The inside of this thing is very safe. There's nothing toxic in here. And yeah, the other thing is that it's actually nice to sleep in this for the baby because you know the high, high edges here and it's it's kind of deep but not too deep but you know it's it, it is it's going to feel safe after you know living in there nine months this is a really good bed <laughs> so yeah even though everything in here is safe and not toxic or dangerous or anything i will be washing everything before you know they get they get used and you know get rid of any kind of residue that there could be you know from the factory where everything has come from so yeah i think the system is really good i'm going to save some money and i've already saved some money but also this really can guide you through you know everything you may just need you know, of course, you can't get everything beforehand. You can get some things beforehand because, you know, you know what to get. But then, of course, there will be some surprises along the way. Things that you may may not know that you actually do need. But, you know, you can get those later. It's okay. Yeah, that's, that's everything there was, was in here. Um, just in case you want to know.
this is what you get for being a film. So I think that was all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!